It's another morning at Houston High, home of the Mustangs and HNN News. Whether it's the locker room or the classroom, Houston News Network is there. Your go-to source for all high school headlines. HNN News starts now. Good morning, Mustangs. I'm Michael Webb. And I'm Whit Minner. And these are your morning announcements from Monday, September 19th. It's Constitution Week, Mustangs. Constitution Week is celebrated annually during this week to commemorate its history, importance, and bring attention to how it still serves today. The United States Constitution, America's most important document, stands as a testament to the tenacity of Americans throughout history to maintain their liberties, freedoms, and inalienable rights. Each day we will be sharing an interesting fact about the United States Constitution. Today's interesting fact is that the U.S. Constitution has 4,400 words. It's the oldest and shortest written constitution of any major government in the world. It contains 7,591 words, including the 27 amendments. Houston Choir sells pizza and drinks after school every Tuesday and Thursday through October. They are set up in two locations, one in the main lobby and the other in the fine arts hallway. Buy a slice for $2 and a drink for $1. The HHS yearbook is on sale now. Go to School Cash Online to make your purchase of the Mustang Spirit yearbook. The price is $90 and includes a personalized nameplate. Prices go up after Thanksgiving break, so buy yours today. If you're interested in playing tennis this year, there will be an informational meeting in the library right after school tomorrow. The boys' basketball team will be selling Chick-fil-A chicken biscuits in the Varsity Gym concession stand on Friday, mornings before school. The price is $5 for a biscuit and a bottle of water. HNN News will be right back after this quick commercial break. Hi, my name is Claire Deason. I'm going to Old Miss. Go Reps. My name is Brennan Williams. I'm going to Oklahoma State. Go Pops. I'm Hank Fleming. I'm going to the University of Arkansas. Who picked? Hi, I'm Avery, and I'm going to the University of Tennessee. Go Vols. I'm Claire, and I'm going to Auburn. Hey, I'm, I'm Todd Corbin. I'm going to Navy Beat Army. Hi, my name is Jackson. I'm going to the University of Arkansas. We'll pick Suey. I'm Luke Roswell. I'm going to Nebraska. Go Huskers. It's College App Week with college activities every day. Monday, let's talk financial aid. There will be a financial aid meeting for seniors and parents in the library at 6 p.m. Tuesday, it's Wear Your College Gear Day. Wednesday is College Knowledge Trivia. Trivia questions will be posted on Schoology throughout fourth period. Be the first to the college office with the correct answer and win a prize. Thursday, there's a college fair in the PE gym during all lunches. And Friday is College Application Workshop Day. Learn how to fill out those college applications correctly. So take part and have fun with College App Week. Opening doors for others is a common courtesy we all take part in, but opening doors for visitors at school creates a safety risk. If you see a former student you know trying to visit campus, don't open the door. If you see what seems to be a parent bringing food or a lost item to school, don't open the door. If you see someone trying to enter through a security gate, don't open the gate. All visitors must get buzzed into the building through the main office entrance. So follow the rules and help keep Houston safe. Juniors and seniors, a lot of colleges and universities will be visiting Houston soon. Here's a look at the lineup for the coming weeks. All visits will take place either in the main lobby during all lunches or in the college office. Sign up for college visits in Naviance. And now it's time for the HNN News Word Power Word of the Day. Today's word of the day is edict, a noun meaning an order or decree, as in the ruler issued an edict requiring all of his subjects to bow down before him. Try using it today. Students and teachers, will you please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance?
Now, in accordance with the laws of the state of Tennessee, we'll observe a moment of silence. Well, that's it for today, Mustangs. Have a great day, and we'll be right back with you bright and early tomorrow morning.